Wild Rhino is the only seamless wildlife conservation-centric waste recycling project. It uses elephant dung and rhino dung for making paper with conservation of the Asiatic elephant and one horned rhino at the core of our vision. The vision is conservation, but the process is all about pleasure and design, allowing a young urban global audience to participate wholeheartedly. The paper that we make is very unique in character. It has it's a, got, got a very good texture and because it is environment friendly, because it is only made from waste, I don't use anything which is otherwise consumable by other people. What is not consumable only I use to make paper and through make, by making this paper when I sell it, one that the consumer gets a message through my paper that we must save the elephant and rhino and he becomes part of the process of serving the rhino and the elephant. Secondly, the, I, the people who work for me, they also understand that for the first time they have realized that the rhino and elephant dung can be used to make something and they can make get a livelihood from this to elephant. El Rhino hopes to build solidarity for this is to increase awareness which will make rhino paper and its products a must buy item on everyone's shopping lists. This way the business will thrive on its uniquely positioned product without grants or external support. The community of buyers has to be created using social platforms which are appropriately located to garner awareness and induce buying. But what I find is that people who are generally aware about the need for conservation, they are attracted by my paper. There is a big demand for my paper amongst the people who understand. Another factor is that what I do is I get school children. They love to come and see how this paper is made. They get very excited to hear that paper is made from elephant and rhino dung. And when they come and see, this gives a great uh, space the message, the, the awareness to them. Yes, this is of economic value. This is something we must do. And this way we can help in saving the environment if you use this paper. El Rhino was conceived in 2011 as a response to conserve nature and create employment for rural youth in Assam from the fringe villages of Kajiranga, Pobitora and Manas National Parks which are habitats of rhinos and elephants. Besides the innovation of making elephant and rhino dung paper, the other technical innovations in El Rhino are making cane inlay paper. We are the only ones to have made this paper where thin bamboo strips are inserted into the paper during the paper making process, giving the paper a unique look and additional strength. Firstly, it can be used as normal writing paper for writing pads. I make folders, I make diaries, I make notebooks. I also make uh, lamps out of this paper. And one innovation that I have, another innovation, in the, I keep innovating every day, more or less. One innovation that I have done is I lay bamboo strip in the paper as I make the paper. The bamboo strip not attached by gum or anything, but it's part of the paper. I am probably the only person in the world who does this. And this paper, this bamboo paper that I call, that they look very beautiful and you can make beautiful bags from it, you can make book covers from this, you can make um, lamps out of that. They look very beautiful, the lamps, and they are highly popular. So this is uh, another aspect that we, I have. And also there is another innovation that I have for the first time probably in the world. I make paper with eri cocoon. Eri is a silk worm we have. The cocoon we, I use <coughs> to make the paper. So, AD paper is another innovation that I have with which I make lamps. <coughs> also, you can make book covers and other things. You can make the beautiful bags from this. So, these are the kinds of innovative products that I make. Uh, I also make a lot of boxes. The, uh, I make boxes and I also make for children elephant uh, toys of this paper. And uh, what kinds of things? I can make all, all, a uh, lot of things out of this.
have designed and erected a petty husk fire dryer for drying our handmade paper. Such paper dryers have not been built by anyone else to our knowledge. All these innovations being homegrown, we have to constantly keep making innovations in our production process to improve product quality and manufacturing methods. Besides, we are constantly introducing newer waste vegetative products like pineapple leaves, banana bark, beetle nut leaves and fibers as raw materials in our paper making process.